What's up, everybody? It is Drew up here with episode 2 of Let's Play Super Smash Bros. Brawl for the Wii. So, in the last episode, we defeated Mario in an exciting fight at the stadium, though then the prime. the. the master. Missed, I don't even know what he is, sorry about that. Anyways, we ran to a really bad person who was on the Halberd, which is a ship that passed by in red smoke. There was a bomb that blew up, and now the stadium is gone, or at least we can't go there, and we completed the Skyward level on medium, or normal mode. So in this episode, we're going to be taking on the Sea of Clouds level, which is probably just going to be Pit and Mario, like we did in Skyworld. So let's go ahead and get things started here, and here we go to cutscene with Kirby and Peach running in, on a warp star and the halberd is following them and if I'm correct there's actually the, the other ship following them like it chased after the halberd so we could pick a Kirby or Peach right here though if you watch episode 1 it's pretty you know that's pretty obvious the choice so here we go we're controlling as Kirby if, once again if you watch last episode you know his moveset and why I like Kirby it's the um, owning mallet so we actually only get one or three live right here, though I don't know how hard it can this can actually be because if I remember correct this isn't even a love right here, just like showing off the Halberd or just like showing you how they would get across the Halberd. And now we see the ship that was following the Halberd and now there's a bunch of guns shooting at it and a crane hits it and now it crashed, no, it does not crash into the ship, though it does knock Peach and Kirby off, so I, we actually will be controlling as Peach and Kirby right now, and that was a little mistake from before, so here we are as Kirby, as I just selected, and the small mistake I made last episode, there aren't only the primates, so there's the boom primates. They're a bit different. They have a new attack. It's like uh, they attack with a yellow sword or something. Anyways, it's a bit different. And here, you can see this prime is just running on the wall. I don't know if that's supposed to happen, though. I guess it works with me if it distract, if it um, what should we call it? If it distracts the pri the primid. So here we go. We're just defeating these blunders. And we we'll actually <laughs> we got owned by that. Blender. and here's the boom primate I'm actually gonna get a trophy of it because why not okay there we go we'll click the statue for the boom primate and there's a little coconut there though I don't really need that right now could we get this item here what is this I don't know what that exactly does I don't know if it raises your attacker or anything so you can see a new enemy I can't even describe it I can't even see what type what it said so here you see yet another new enemy it's like a fish in the sky it is called a fish and toto i will say these enemies are definitely really unique and some of them are actually kind of originate from the games they come from and we'll definitely see some more examples of that as we continue on with this game so you can see it's this is kind of a large area which with tons of fish and a toto every now and then but mostly fish and here you can see another one of those another one of these plates that spawns a trophy and we actually we have a prime trophy though I guess why not get another one there's really no point in um getting these trophies they're just cool to have and some some of them have funny errors on them like in melee, Daisy actually has a third eye if you view her like behind her hair. So let's see if we can get this and we as a statue. It definitely be really interesting to see. It's actually a pop and I'm not too crazy about that name. And they just commit suicide while throwing food at us. I don't know about that Nintendo. Well, actually, they didn't commit suicide because there is a there's a platform below there and here you can see the first door here and that basically gets you to a different part of the level if it's gold or yellow it'll bring you to which the, that means that the level's over and here you can see we're finally on land because the stadium was in there the sky world was in the sky 
and the the sea of clouds which is what we were just on obviously it was in the in the clouds so now we're actually in like a plains area and you can see a little arrow that tells you to go over here and there's like an enemy spawner here that spawns mites which are basically like hand-drawn like little stick figures I bet actually they could be hand-drawn figures I know some games actually use hand-drawn figures like you can kind of tell in the way they look so here you have another statue and that cloud just disappeared amazing and we can use our special jump ability to get above back to the ledge and these areas are really directing us in the right way some random mites that are still there even after we destroyed the spawner so we'll just quickly take these out and we actually can't go through that passage though we're not even supposed we weren't even supposed to go through whoa we weren't even supposed to go through the clouds in the first place so this looks really dangerous though it's a video game so I could care less and my and my brother would probably play the clip like from Family Guy oh my god who the cares Cause he he's like loving that clip lately. He he's playing it during like different things. Like he played it during talk talk be let's talk baseball trooper and Derek Lloyd episode twenty seven and that was actually that was actually released earlier today and it's probably one of the best videos Josh has ever made as there's some cool editing tricks in there and it's actually pretty entertaining and looks like we have to take down these and i'm going to see if i could get the trophy for this and why is pick up is there something on kirby yeah it's like a metal on on kirby above his eyes and you can see more of the fallen boulders except this time it actually rolls but there's platforms i can go on and we see get more fish even underground actually this this might be a ravine i don't know where this is exactly see a lighter whoa wow that fish owned us or someone's gonna be like hey G hey juniper you're in this you're in this on, on your own Okay, so there's a bunch of ladders they have to climb to avoid these, and I think we're actually about done with these. Whoa. Yeah, I know how Kirby just didn't get scratched. So I guess this is where the boulders go. There's a fall in there, and they actually get a really push. And we need, and we see another grape, grape. And Kirby was on a high, high damage counter. I don't know how, what I would call it. But anyways, with the, because of that he was easily taken down by the creep so here about to take down the creep and nope just on he's just on a tiny sliver of health and i think we're actually at the end of the level and yes we are so growth so go through the gate and see what will happen after this so there we go that's stage clear and we got a boom pyramid Primed, sorry, and another trophy. Okay, so there we go. We have completed the Sea of Clouds, and here you can see both the levels that we completed. So, thank you all for watching this episode of Let's Play Super Smash Brothers Brawl for the Wii. So, in this episode, we complete the Sea of Clouds on normal mode. And now we're up to the jungle, which we will be doing in the next episodes. So once again, thank you all for watching. I am Jupiter Gaming, signing out.